Now, a special service commemorating Nigeria's 64th independence anniversary has just concluded at the Ecumenical Centre, Abuja, with clerics calling for unity and expressing hope for Nigeria's greatness. Most Reverend Michael Akinwale, in his sermon, centred on Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream message, urging Nigerians to be nationalistic in their outlook so that they the country will leave a legacy of excellence for generations to come and make a lasting impact on other nations. Leaders including Presidents of the Senate, Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Defence Chiefs, Representatives of Service Chiefs and former President Olusegun Obasanjo attended the landmark service. Take money from the special fund established to ensure that Students from deprived families are not deprived of education. So far, 2.5 billion has been dispersed to students. It's a novelty, something that is new. I want you to clap more than that. Special remittances to state governments to promote what? Food security. Nigeria gained independence from British colonial rule on October 1st, 1960, adopting a federal system with an elected prime minister and ceremonial head of state. This anniversary serves as a reflection on the country's journey and its diversity, with a federal structure comprising three regions, eastern, northern and western. In related news, Secretary to the Government of the Federation, George Akume, announced that Nigeria's 64th independence anniversary celebration would be low-key. Past independence celebrations have featured interdenominational church services, such as this one held at the National Christian Center. The service concluded with the national anthem and symbolic cutting of the national cake.